Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer and welcome back to another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today we are playing Animal Crossing and we are on my personal Tortimer Island in my game. Uh, and we are going to find out how to make the most bells. Uh, so I've heard a lot of different strategies online on how other people like to make the most bells out of their island. And I'm going to kind of show you guys what I've learned. Um, now it's been a while since I've been to my island. Uh, so I have a lot of fruit trees. But the key is to actually cut down majority of all of your trees. Um, and that's because, uh, and, and the bushes, because they spawn other insects. And the island can only take so many insects on it at a time. So you really want to take off as many as possible so that you can only get beetles. Um, so you're kind of eliminating the risk of possibly getting butterflies um, or locusts or things like that and only focusing on attracting beetles because beetles are the real money makers with I think the most expensive beetle being the golden stag bringing in 12,000 bells. Uh, so doing stuff like this I could probably make about a million bells a night if I had no other thing happening in my life at the time and was totally bored out of my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut down about half of all of my trees and all of my bushes and flowers. So every other tree I'm gonna chop down. Goodbye trees, you served me well. All those bananas. Do you guys like bananas? I love bananas. I didn't used to, I used to hate them. I, I actually knew some people that tried to eat bananas with the skin on. Could never get on board with that. They look disgusting. But I guess uh, the peel has all kinds of benefits to eating it. I'm not sure. I couldn't get into it. Oh, fuck, I just scared off one of our beetles. It's okay. There will be plenty more. This is just the preparation. Just gotta just gotta make way. And then we're gonna be rolling in those belts, baby. We're gonna buy all the new shoes. This also helps because you can see trees easier through the oops. Well, I guess we're breaking that too here. Because you can see the trees easier through the the whole crowd of trees. There's less to have to focus on. How do you get rid of the bushes? Forget. I think you just use a shovel. Yeah, this is a shovel. Sorry, I feel so guilty, but I have them in my own town, so it's not like it's a huge loss. And if you do get rid of a plant that you really need and you didn't know it at the time, uh, usually you can find them by playing games on Tortimer's Island. Uh, oops. He will have uh, tons of, of uh, fruit and plants, and you can actually take them from there in your pockets, and you'll have them when you leave. So that is a little tip for you. Let's get at that. Axe again. Got some more chop and do. I'll leave that one there. Oops. Aw. See, this is a bad arrangement anyways, because I can't even see the beetle that was on that middle tree. Don't sit on that tree stump, we got work to do. And it's it's okay to leave the tree stumps there because some beetles actually sit on the tree stump. So it's not a bad thing. And I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but each tree stump is different. This one has a little heart in it. How cute. Uh, and some of them, you know, are, are typical ovals. Some of them have uh, like Christmas trees, things like that in them. I think one of them has uh, a Triforce. I could be wrong, but all right. I'm not gonna bother picking up the fruit right now because we're kind of we're on a mission. I'm gonna go ahead and take up my net. I went ahead and I forwarded up the clock. I forwarded up the clock in my game, so it's 7 p.m. right now, uh, which is prime time because all the locusts go away and the beetles, the higher price beetles, start coming out. So, the way to catch the beetles is to walk really fucking slow. 
slower than I'm walking right now, uh, because you'll scare them away if you do see one. We'll find one. It's gonna happen. It's a fucking water bug. Go away. Respawn using all my bug spawn points. Get out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Hi there. You're not a rare one or anything, but you'll be our starter. Do you guys see him? Eh. Aha! Our first bug of the night. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We're doing good, we're doing good. But I saw, I think that's a fruit beetle? Let's see. Ah! Goliath beetle. And they're both not the rarest of bugs, but this is a start to our hunting night. Uh, some people would actually, ah, oh, fuck. Some people would actually ignore certain types of bugs or scare them away because they're not the most expensive bugs. But I honestly feel like all beetles are kind of worth it except for uh, the tiny fruit beetles, the green beetles. But uh, yeah, I would just say if you're in, yeah, that one's like one of the not rare ones. Uh, if you're in it to make money, grab all the beetles you can and then make as, fuck, make as many fairy voyages as possible to catch as many bugs as possible. Every bug matters. Just like saving, every cent counts. Frick, come here, you. And some beetles scare uh, harder than others. Freaking, these guys hardly get scared at all. But, uh, the, like golden stags and stuff, oh my god, they fucking fly away if you're and not even like near them, like you can't even see them on the screen, you'll just hear them fly away. And that's the, that's a huge pain. Ooh, a shark. Also, if you see any finned fish, go after those because uh, those are the money makers. Those ones are the ones that'll make the big bells. Come on, sharky shark. Ooh. Ah, I'm no good at fishing, man. Just gotta stick to those bugs. All right. I I, I hardly ever fish, anyways. I'm not very good at it. I have no patience for it. Freaking water bugs, he's in all my spawns. All right, let's do this in the shot. Oh, fucking hermit crab. Oh no, that's actually a shell. Sometimes those shells are actually hermit crabs and they use one of your bug spawns. They're the worst. Just kind of skiing around my island. Get out of here, you. You're not wanted. This is a private party function. Ooh, ooh. There's someone who's worse than bells. That wasn't cool. All right, all right. Uh, you're not rare. Get out of here. We're gonna catch something good, guys. I can feel it. It's gonna happen. On the next lap around the island. Here we go. Just skiing around. Just, just your local bug. I'm not a bug catcher at all. I'm a bug myself. <sighs> Hi, Horn Dynasty. Get off there. All right. Who's going to be waiting for me? Ooh. How is it you walk slow again? Shit. This is a bad time to experiment how to walk slow again. There was a button you hit. Fuck yeah, we caught you! Horned elephant beetle. All right, so the walk slow, what was it? All right, so if you hold the right trigger and hit A, you walk, ooh, hold A? Yeah, hold A, and then you walk really slow. And then when you release, you drop the net. Fuck. Okay, we didn't want him anyways. Yeah, you neither. Get out of here. Tough guys only. All right, what do we got next? What am I talking about? Tough guys only. Tough cats only. All right, there's somebody who's worth something. Let's go creeping. Let's creep up on him. Gotcha, bitch. 
Yeah. Cause that beetle. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good right now. Let me check how many we have in our inventory right now. We have two spaces left, so let's go for two more bugs. Hopefully we'll catch something really good. Fingers crossed, maybe the bug gods will bless us. Ah, frick! It's trying to use the walk slow function. All right. No, it's not, no, no! This is frustrating. Get out of here, you. All right. Was that a shark? No, it's a fish. Get out of here. You very quiet. Oops. Is it, we're gonna catch something. Okay. All right. See, when this starts happening, you just need to calm yourself. Fucking slow it down. Piss off the fruit beetles. And send out positive bug energy to all the bugs of the island and let them know that you're ready to accept them into your heart. Come on. Frick. Never gonna catch another bug again. Why won't the buggies come to me? This guy, this guy, we want him. All right. Be very, very quiet. I'm stag beetle hunting. Fuck yeah, we caught him. All right, so I think we need one more beetle and then we're good. We'll go put it in our box. Yeah, literally, I'll, I'll, if I can't sleep, I'll stay up at night just circling the island over and over again, uh, trying to catch as many beetles as possible. And I'll, I'll do like maybe three voyages a night if I have, you know, no reason to wake up early. And I'll just uh, turn in all my bugs and make all my bells. And that's how I have three fully upgraded houses. <laughs> Animal Crossing, because I have no life. But uh, we just caught all of our bugs, so what we're gonna do is we're going to put them into our box. I think this is it. Yeah. So, you guys can't see it, it's on the bottom screen, but I'm just basically depositing all of the bugs that we just caught on the island. And you have four slots of 10. So you can take 40 bugs back to your island with you to sell, or to your village to sell. Um, and that can add up quickly. If you catch 40 $1,000 beetles, that's 40,000 bells. Um, and if you catch, you know, 40 $12,000 12, bell beetles, you'll be rolling in the money. Uh, so this is definitely the way that I found the best way to make money fast, rather than say fruit trees or, uh, you know, working at collecting shit and selling it, shit like that. Like this is obvious, Ooh, there's a shark there. Uh, this is just the fastest and easiest way to make bells, at least for me. Uh, if you guys have a different way that you like to make bells, go ahead and leave that down below. We'd love to check it out. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more awesome videos coming up that you guys just don't want to miss. And I'll see you guys all next time on another fun episode of KKG. Bye, everybody.